Boyle Catermole's life has been marked by both success and struggle. He achieved international fame as a member of S Club 7 and went on to have a solo career and acting career. However, he also faced financial difficulties and personal struggles. Despite these challenges, he remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry and will always be remembered for his talent, charisma, and contribution to the pop music genre. Today, in sad and surprising news, his sudden death was announced. But many of the questions that spread through social media were about the cause of his mysterious death. So the answer from the decision makers was that everyone was waiting for the forensic report. In this video, we'll present the real cause of death and what happened with Paul Catermol before death. Let's get the details. His unexpected death comes just weeks after the group announced it was going on a major reunion tour. A statement from his family and S Club 7 said, it is with a great sadness that we announce that unexpected passing of our beloved son and brother Paul Catermol. Paul was found yesterday, 6th April 2023, at his home in Dorset and was pronounced dead later that afternoon. Paul's family, friends, and fellow members of S Club request privacy at this time. Dorset police has confirmed that there were no suspicious circumstances. A statement on the S Club social media account said, We are truly devastated by the passing of our brother Paul. There are no words to describe the deep sadness and loss we all feel. We were so lucky to have had him in our lives and are thankful for the amazing memories we have. He will be so deeply missed by each and every one of us. We ask that you respect the privacy of his family and of the band at this time. The cause of death is sudden cardiac arrest as forensic report. Paul Catermol is a British musician, actor and television personality who rose to fame in the late 1990s as a member of the pop group S Club 7. Born on March 7, 1977. In St Albans, Hertfordshire, England, Paul began his career in the entertainment industry at a young age. He attended the Sylvia Young Theatre School in London and later went on to perform in various stage productions, including Oliver and Bugsy Malone. In 1998, Bull auditioned for a new pop group called Sab Club 7, which was being formed by Simon Fuller, the mastermind behind the Spice Girls. Bull was selected as one of the seven members of the group, which also included Tina Parrott, Bradley McClintosh, Joe O'Meara, Hannah Spirit, John Lee, and Rochelle Stevens. S Club 7 went on to become one of the biggest pop acts of the late 1990s and early 2000s, with a string of hit singles and albums. As a member of S Club 7, Paul Catermol was known for his distinctive voice and energetic stage presence. He contributed vocals to many of the group's biggest hits, including Bring It All Back, S Club Party and Reach. S Club 7 also starred in their own television series, which aired on the BBC and Disney Channel, and released their own line of merchandise, including dolls and clothing. In 2002, after four successful albums and several sold-out tours, S Club 7 announced that they were taking a high this. Paul Catermol went on to pursue a solo career, releasing his first single, Thinking of You, in 2003. However, his solo career failed to take off, and Paul struggled to recapture the success he had enjoyed as part of S Club 7. In 2014, S Club 7 reunited for a sold-out tour, which included several shows at London's O2 Arena. Paul Catermol was a part of the reunion, but it was a difficult time for him. In an interview with NME, Paul revealed that he had been struggling with depression and addiction during the tour, and that he had sold his Brit Award to make ends meet.